One thing we see in the comments every time a new or novel concept hits the smartphone scene is people asking, but what use is it? Is this really a benefit or just a gimmick? It's a good question, especially as it relates to LG's newest Android handheld, and we'll do our best to answer it from the show floor here at CES 2015. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this is the LG G Flex 2 Curve Explained. To be straight, the Curve is a bit of a gimmick in the sense that it's made to be eye-catching. It's made to be different. LG itself said it was bored of flat when it released the original G Flex, and of the new device it says it's just more natural and more beautiful. So cosmetics do play a big role here. But that doesn't mean the Curve is just a stunt. If you've been watching for a long time, you're tired of me saying it conforms to the buttock. But it really does. As humans, we're more round than flat, so whether it's a butt pocket or the side of your face, the G Flex 2 feels better and more natural to my senses than, say, the G3 or the Note 4. And it also helps to reduce the apparent size of the phone. LG also says a curved chassis will better distribute impact forces than a flat one when you drop it on the ground. While we've yet to test that on the new phone, the original G Flex did take some major abuse in our stress test last year without breaking, so the company has some cred here. Turn the G Flex 2 sideways for a movie or a game, and you'll see why LG makes analogies to watching an IMAX movie or a wraparound TV screen. It's probably the toughest advantage to illustrate on camera, and the one that most feels like exaggerated marketing copy. But while the feeling is slight, it's still really cool. I always miss the curve when moving from the original G Flex to a flatter phone, and I expect the same to be true with this year's model. Finally, the downside. The shape can be awkward in some non-butt pockets, the phone wobbles more on a tabletop than some others, and probably most important, how much more are you paying for all the technology that had to be engineered to accommodate the curve, like the display and the battery? We don't know exact pricing yet, but you can bet it won't be cheap, and not everyone will want to pay the premium. We'll have more thoughts on whether it's ultimately worth it in our full review, coming soon. Which camp do you fall in? Let us know in the comments. And remember, there's much more to come from CES 2015, so be sure to subscribe and follow us in the links of the description below and at pocketnow.com. Till next time, from Las Vegas, this has been Michael Fisher with Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.